also have branching coral morphologies, and in these colonies the polyps grow outwards and upwards. But as the colony starts to grow, some polyps grow faster than others. New polyps then form on the new skeleton that's created below the fastest growing polyps. So the colony, as always, starts as a collection of a few polyps glued down onto the substratum. Over time, some polyps grow faster than others, forming these branch-like structures, and new polyps grow in the space that arises underneath those branches. Over time, the branches can get longer and new branches can branch off from the existing structures. So these branching corals form arborescent or almost tree-like structures under water. Columnar corals grow similarly to branching corals, except that they actually form thick columns that have a solid skeleton, which is quite similar to that of massive corals. So on the left we have a branching coral, where the branches are approximately one centimetre in diameter. And on the right hand side we have a columnar coral, where the branches or columns are approximately four centimetres in diameter. You can see the coralites as these small white discs around the outside of those columns. So let's look at the skeletons of some branching corals. These are all branching corals, and you can see that they ha can have quite different branching growth forms. They can have finger-like branches, short, stubby branches. They might have long, thin and pointy branches. Thicker branches that uh, have quite long sections, or long and smooth branches. Generally, branching corals have relatively small coralites, particularly compared to those of those mountain-shaped or massive corals we saw earlier. These coralites are almost fish-scale-like in structure, and they're usually less than about half a centimetre in diameter. For this species, you can see the small coralites here as very faint pits on the colony surface. This next example also has very small coralites. You can see them here as little holes in the colony surface. These branches are quite long and pointy and that's a characteristic of this particular genus. Here is another branching coral and again the coralites on the sides of the branches are these tube-like structures. Corals have quite a lot of flexibility in the way they can grow, and that means that there are some other weird morphologies that you can sometimes see out on the reef. For example, we have what we call fasciloid colonies, and in this case, each polyp grows on its own stalk-like branch. So these are individual polyps growing on stalks. Here's an example of what the coral colony looks like with its tissue intact. We can also have a fasciloid type growth, but where it occurs with multiple polyp mouths in between the walls. So again, in this example, and it's a morphology we call flabellomeandroid. Again, we have coralites growing on a stalk-like structure, but we have multiple mouths occurring within each set of coralite walls. It's a little bit hard to see in this living coral example here because the tissues are so thick, but this shadow here is actually a gap in between these valleys or walls of these coralites that are essentially growing on stalks up out from the reef.